Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie, and today we're going to take a closer look at the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 40th Anniversary Collector's Edition, or Limited Edition in fact. And this one is from uh, the great nation of France, and uh, really pleasantly surprised by this. This is something that I didn't realize on the preview pictures. It actually has cut out holes in the cover! How fucking awesome is that? I really didn't see that coming. It was like, you know, I ordered the box and I thought like, yeah, this is gonna be one of those uh, typical sort of collector's boxes. And then it comes in this really luxurious awesomely designed box for one thing it is a fresh new design very nice print interesting look to it and then I just unbox it and these holes are fucking cutout holes. I mean, look at them. You can tell that the box itself is actually very thick and sturdy. You could imagine that cardboard here would be a bit brittle, but this is really fucking sturdy and really holds together well. So, I don't know what to say. Very nicely done so far. Looking at the bottom of the box, it is actually number here. This is a sticker, transparent sticker. Close up of the barcode in case you want to know. And uh, all of the details. If you don't know French, this isn't really interesting. So, next up, opening this, we actually slide out the bottom like this, which was also different from what I expected. I really thought it was going to be the typical pull out from the side kind of thing. But no, we actually have something that looks like this. Very, very nice. So then we have this uh, sort of half style box with a bunch of stuff in it. Let's take a quick look at the interior of the box. Got these little cardboard pieces here. Pretty cheap, more like black paper. You just can tell there's a slight uh, crease on this. Usually this doesn't really matter because it's pretty tightly packed so it won't really shuffle around anyway. These are glued in here so they don't move, they don't come out, they just sit there for extra support. This is a sticker which was on the exterior plastic, like so I believe. Just advertises a bit of what's inside. Let's see, then we also have, where is it? Yeah, here. This is just a classic uh, back cover with all the specs and stuff, which was also uh, glued to the exterior of the box on the other side. Going in for a bit of a close-up on this in case you want to get the uh, full specs. So yeah, freeze frame! And here you can also see a bit of an overview uh, of all the content. Next up. Fold out mini poster, a very uh, bright sparkly print, American style poster. It really pops off the page in terms of the colors. Like just look, it actually has blood on the saw. One of those things which quite frankly I don't think I've ever even noticed looking at the, you know, like all the small keep cases and VHS covers. Postcards or art cards. Comes with this easy to remove or reseal glue strip there. Sorry if I'm stuttering slightly or my voice feels uh, like it's cold in here because it is cold in here. My hands are actually like almost shaking because I'm in the garage in case you didn't know that that's where I operate from these days and it's in the middle of winter. So some art cards. Blank on the back. Here's the first print. And these almost appear to be like behind the scenes shots. It doesn't feel like it's the typical angles but I could be mistaken. Maybe these are just typical screenshots from the movie. This feels very uh, common. This also doesn't feel like it's a, an original screenshot from the movie, or rather a, like an alternative from one of the classic scenes. But yeah, I could be wrong. Either way, very nice prints. Here's a small book. Not really sure what to expect in here as I've never flipped through this before. Printed all in French as it seems. I'm not 100% sure as to everything this covers. If it's just like... Yeah, I have no idea what this says, and if you're gonna freeze frame this and go into Zoom and Google Translate and whatnot, then you're really fucking disturbed. So, never mind, I'm not gonna talk about this so much, except to mention that it does have some really interesting images. It's definitely a shot I've never seen before. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's quite a few pages here. I'm not really sure if I should flip through them all or not, but, yeah, just doing this pretty quick. But 
I don't know, overall I think this is a very nice set. I think it's been really cool what they've done for the 40th anniversary. In different countries it seems like it's really been different, you know. There's really been like a different style to each edition, which I think is really nice because a lot of the time everyone has the same steelbook. It's just, you know, that like a different language on it. And for example, I mean in the UK for instance there was a limited edition store exclusive steelbook, which as it turns out wasn't store exclusive. What the fuck is going on here? I don't think I remember this from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, I don't I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I think it's uh, very nice that they have um, gone out of their way, uh, not just for this, but for all of the countries. They, they really have something of their own. In America we got the Black Maria version, in France we got this, and then we have the Germans which have done the whole sort of luxurious vinyl or laser disc sized box set, and uh, for collectors like me, that's what it's all about, as opposed to just, you know, getting the same sort of design rehashed all over again. I mean, nobody really wants that. Here is a... Um... <laughs> ah, I don't know what this is. Ah, trying to remember. Uh, it's an apron, sorry about that. Uh, we're gonna take a look at this, but first I thought we would just get past looking at the diggy pack here, so... Try to make some room, folding this out. So there you go. Kind of interesting, minimalistic look to the uh, back cover here. Basically just a plain... Wow, look at this. Didn't see this coming. It's really clever, interesting design. I love the fact that they made like these bloody circles uh, for the discs, like the discs are in fact smeared with blood leaving prints. Didn't really expect that. And in case you are a sucker for a more artworky stuff, I'm gonna go in for a close up on this. As you can tell, they really, really went for a blended look, sort of stitching together a bunch of classic scenes here. Uh, and they've done it very nicely, it's a very uh, seamless and a nice blend of artwork, I gotta say. Very nice and very detailed print indeed. Just gonna pop all the discs back in their original place. And now we can just take a closer look. Here we got Blu-ray version of the film plus bonus material. And we have the second disc which appears to be a DVD version of the film plus bonus material. And then we have... What the fuck is this? Less films in the discs. I can't speak French. Not really sure what this disc contains. What does the back cover say? Um, this is pretty interesting. You can tell here, uh, DVD bonus number two, Tobe Hooper, less films, la 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 la, whatever that is. Appears to be a disc which actually contains a couple of short films. We got The Heisters, which is 10 minutes, then we got Eggshells, uh, 90 minutes, and then we also got uh, audio commentary for Eggshells. Pretty interesting, I'm betting these are quite exclusive to this box set so far. But this was just uh, about showing you what the discs look like. So yeah, there's disc three. And then there is disc 4. If you look at it from afar it seems like they're almost all black, but yeah, there's actually a subtle uh, grayscale print. Very nicely done overall, I really, really like this. And now finally, oh god, need to get my shaky hands inside. This is not something that you can apparently open and easily reseal, but being the guy who I am, I don't think I, I, I'll ever sell this, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and open this. This is what I do for all you nice movie lovers out there. You might remember that the American Black Maria box that also comes with an apron, and they sort of went for a more typical blood spattered realistic design, if you will. On this one, they've done their own sort of graphic design. <laughs> Gotta love that though, don't mess with Texas. As you can tell. Very nice print, uh, love the quality, feels like a very nice and thick print. So, I mean it's still sort of very blood spattery, so it's got that feeling of being a bloody apron, but at the same time they're doing something with graphics, so I don't know, I think this is a pretty nice choice. I don't know if there's anything specific I want to summarize about this. I think it's a very pleasant surprise that they, you know, went their own way with this. And I also think that this box it was much better built than I suspected it to be. Interesting design choices. Very happy about this. Highly recommend it in case you want to get the most luxurious boxes. I think this should also be on your list right up there with the Black Maria box and the German version and whatnot. But that's it. I want to say thank you very much for watching and as usual, hope to see you all next time.